This podcast is brought to you by Men's Tea Clinic. Men's Tea Clinic is the team I trust with my total wellness optimization, and so should you. Five DFW locations with North Frisco, El Dorado Parkway at Dallas North Tollway now open. Call 972-GO-MEN'S-TEA or visit mensteaclinic.com. There's never been a better time to work at Amazon. They are offering sign-on bonuses up to $3,000 and pay up to $24.50 per hour. Many jobs come with great benefits that start on your first day, and Amazon offers a variety of paths for career growth. They have flexible shifts and schedules, and you can start in as little as seven days, so you'll be earning extra income just in time for the holidays. Go to Amazon.com slash apply to get started today. Amazon is proud to be an equal opportunity employer. Sean and RJ on your home of America's team, now joined by the Hall of Fame owner and GM, Jerry Jones, brought to you by Ford, built for Texas, built for you. Good morning, Jerry. How are you doing today? Sean, RJ, I'm doing great, and can you hear me pretty good? Yes, are yep. you in the car? Fantastic. I'm not, but I'm on a little bit of a halfway cell phone, but uh, <laughs> it's going to work good if you can hear me good. Yeah, we, we we hear you well, uh, Jerry. Actually, Jerry, we were we were debating this the other week. How often do you drive around yourself? About half the time, and oh. uh, it's uh, 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 real good. And uh, but it probably figures out about half the time. I don't like to do it when I've had a sip, and <laughs> so uh, don't recommend that for anybody. And uh, so uh, I'm doing that all the time. So I take a chance half the time. Jerry, I'm teasing. Hey, you guys know I'm kidding this morning, but still, yes, uh, uh, it's about half the time for me. How perfect of a game was that uh, with that turnaround after what just happened against Denver? Just kind of give us your game recap of that awesome performance against the Falcons. Well, as certainly I've had a chance to enjoy it for the last couple of days. Uh, it is the most uh, complete game that uh, I've think I've experienced, and. Uh, uh, I think so, considering uh, uh, the fact that uh, we had the special teams plays that we had. And um, when you add that uh, with uh, how we performed defensively, offensively, uh, it was just an awesome game. Uh, I, everyone has always said if you can win two of the three parts of the game, then you'll win the game. Uh, you win all three, and you play well in all three, and you can have a uh, quarter like we had in the second quarter. Jerry, we've uh, we've given Bones Fossil a little bit of a hard time at the beginning of the year, uh, but let's give him some praise now. With, with these pump blocks as of late, we know you guys were working with the new kicker on Sunday, Can, and, we, and we know the reputation he has around the league. Uh, give a little props and praise to the job that Bones Fossil has done for you. Well, he's, uh, uh, to me, uh, he's so, uh, cont- his enthusiasm is contagious, which is a big thing around special teams. Uh, the, the special teams coach touches more of your players other than the head coach, other than anybody, because of the, it gets them from both sides of the ball, offense, defense, and gets so many of them. So his, his enthusiasm for the game, his zest for the positive, is very important to a team. And he's as good as anybody I've ever seen. I've also never seen a special teams coach that didn't want to put his fingerprint more on the outcome of the game. Mm. And so by their nature, uh, they can want to be uh, maybe uh, too aggressive at times. Uh, I don't know that I would call him that. I just think you have to realize that uh, he has a lot of confidence in his players. He's very excited about those players. And he uh, believes that they'll make all the good decisions. Uh, special teams is about being aware when you run out there uh, to not uh, have your hands in the wrong places, which call, creates penalties, as well as uh, just remember you're not trying to get them from behind, don't let the ball bounce, all of those uh, rules of the kicking game. And um, so I, I can't say enough about him, but because he is as good, because he is as effective as he is, you've got to watch him. Yeah, and of course, things were so poetic for Nishan Wright recovering that ball for the touchdown after the previous week. But the big storyline was on uh, the other assistant coach in Dan Quinn. How happy were you for Dan Quinn with that type of performance against his former team? Well, I just uh, will tell you, to me, he has such stature. 
Uh, he's played in the big games. He's head coached. Uh, he should have a Super Bowl. He really should have mm-hmm. a Super Bowl. And um, but uh, I'm not only proud for him. I'm proud we got him. And uh, it's uh, uh, contagious as for again uh, for the team. And uh, uh, it just uh, it was poetic. Uh, for him to come in there beaming in he, into that dressing room after the game, but to have uh, uh, basically put a plan together that was as effective as it is against his old team. Now, uh, he has some great friends over there. No one thinks more of him than uh, Arthur Blank uh, uh, and uh, uh, that he had coached with over there, but he's got a lot of great uh, relationships that are players on that team, so it had to feel good. Jerry Jones joins us here at 105 Through the Fan. Uh, Dak followed up what was arguably the worst game of his career with a really, really good game. Did you think that was the best performance he had all season? Well, I thought, I, I don't know that I would call it his best, but it is a performance that you can really win with. As a matter of fact, you've got to work to get beat if you've got a guy in his position, and especially away from the ball, his blocking. And uh, that's something that uh, he's very physical in that area as well. And those guys know it. And so he does a great job of helping protect that passer. Uh, He's uh, he's to know that uh, uh, we've got him uh, as a part of what Dak is about, what our receivers are about, uh, really gives you a good feeling as we go up here to Kansas City. Jerry, Dak had a, uh, a touchdown run uh, in this one, and, and, and I guess the way he did it and he ran into the, to the defender, he's obviously uh, personally feels like he is 100% healthy, he is back, and he can absorb those hits. As the guy who pays the checks, how do you feel about that when you see him <laughs> running into somebody else uh, a year after what we just saw happen? Yeah, I worry about it. I, I do worry about it, and you'd like to say pick your shots and make sure every one of them are going to account for the difference. That's impossible to uh, have happen because uh, the competitor of the competitor that he is, and he's gonna he's gonna get the play uh, finished as best he possibly can, and uh, we've got to uh, uh, just realize that uh, uh, at the end of the year, uh, what this is about is uh, being standing. Warren Buffett one time said the hardest thing about accumulating wealth is to be there to spend it. <laughs> and that mean could be livelihood or it could be just financial hood. But the point is, uh, we want to be there with Dak. Uh, those are fine lines. Everybody deals with it. Uh, we've worked real hard in the NFL to protect that quarterback. <coughs> Consequently, it creates a, uh, an opportunity, really, for the quarterback to uh, do offense because of the very protection they get from the rules. And we've got to take advantage of it. We've got to have some of that to have the team we want. Jerry, two big storylines for this game. How are you going to generate pressure without Randy Gregory still waiting for Tank to come back? And how is Steele going to hold up over there at left tackle after last week's game? What did you think of the way those two things worked out for you guys? I thought we did uh, uh, really outstanding on both of them. That's a big part of why we're – uh, celebrating the way we are about the game. I thought uh, uh, Tristan Hill came in and showed us a couple of things. He can create some pressure. He's got some twitch, as we call it. Uh, but I thought he did well. And still, uh, again, having a really top year, uh, but showed that uh, what repetition will do, took the Denver game, and he grew from it, and uh, basically uh, is giving us now a uh, really top alternative uh, in case we need him at left tackle. And, uh, boy, what a what a bonus for us to have him. Steven sounded pretty optimistic yesterday about Tyron coming back for the Chiefs game. How, how are you feeling about Tyron's return for Sunday? Well, I mirror that. I, w- I would say that uh, I get the same information that he gets, and that's the way it looks. Uh, we'll see as the week goes along, but uh, – uh, the Tyron is very, uh, uh, very, uh, I'd, I'd say, pre- not predictable is the word, but he you can measure uh, how he's doing, what he's doing. Uh, he's uh, he's the ultimate pro at this stage in his career, 
and you can get a good feel if he's going to be able to be active that week, and it looks good. What are you envisioning happening with Steele when Tyron does return? I don't know, I, I, and I don't know that we know right now, but uh, we'll see how the practices go. But, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, actually Collins uh, really did some good things out there. He's going to get better He's, uh, as he moves on into the season, which is really a great thing for us because he's the uh, – Collins is the enforcer in the offensive line. He's your attitude in the inf- offensive line. He's got a, he, he's got a dark side. And it's a good side. And so uh, he's he's productive for us when we get him out there. Jerry Jones, every Tuesday with Sean and RJ. The number one fan question, he's kind of the new fan favorite, Connor McGovern, with all these packages blocking in the backfield. Uh, and, and, and some fans want to know, Jerry, with all the penalties that Connor Williams has been getting, uh, why not try out, why doesn't Connor McGovern uh, get an opportunity over Connor Williams up front? Well, you'll see that uh, a position flex is a tricky thing. Left side, right side. Uh, he spent most of his time, McGovern has, on the right side. And so uh, uh, that's, that's uh, an adjustment. But his, uh, his athletic ability, especially for a guy his size, is a tr- huge asset. And uh, we want to utilize that. And uh, uh, we should. Uh, the main thing I'm interested in is... Uh, uh, obviously, uh, Connor Williams has some work to do relative to the perception of the officials and what he's doing with the officials. Uh, now, that is something that hard work and, sen- and being sensitive and working on it can help. You can, your technique as an offensive lineman, you can uh, uh, adjust and direct. You hear about it going left side, right side, different hands of emphasis. Uh, that can work on we got some great coaches. I look for that to improve on Connor Williams. Do you think the officials sometimes are, un, I don't say unfair to him, but not calling him the way he should be called? I think there is a point of emphasis in some of the things that he's doing. And it's not uh, unprecedented that a player, a given player's technique, becomes something that is against uh, what they're trying to do in terms of penalties, and they'll start penalizing Michael Irvin ran into that on pushing off, on bumping down at the hip level when he would break against a D-back, and they called it the Michael Irvin penalty. Michael had to adjust his game. Uh, uh, Roy Williams, a great safety, uh, they, they uh, had the rule that really did limit him in terms of a big uh, uh, technique that he used in tackling people, the horse collar. And, boy, they took it out, and he had some adjustments to make. It is... It is not unprecedented to take a a player's game, uh, decide as a league that if we want to do it a different way, there are other players that do that too, and those guys have to adjust. Jerry, the most important and serious question is, did you ever think that monkey butt would help contribute to a victory like that? Well, that talcum powder, whatever you want to call it, uh, uh, the big thing is that... uh, um, uh, it just shows you uh, some of the things that Mike uh, McCarthy is about. And uh, the, the more I see him, the more I see him coach, uh, the more I see him work with people in general, the more impressed I am. And uh, he, he's, uh, he's got a natural uh, ability about him for football because football is a, uh, to be trite, is a physical game. It's arduous. It takes a lot of grudge work. It takes a lot of that. And so to have someone that's good at communicating and creating interesting things as you move along has always been helped. Barry Switzer was one of the best you've ever seen at uh, creating ways for players to uh, stay physical, call on themselves, but at the same time help them improve in a positive way. Uh, Mike's got a lot of that. Jerry, how are you looking? This feels like a heavyweight fight mm-hmm. on Sunday against Kansas City, maybe the game of the year. Uh, how do you view this? Is this a measuring stick in your mind, or is it the cliche? It's just like any other game. Set us up for the Cowboys and the Chiefs. Well, I'm actually talking to you from Missouri, 
right now. Oh. And uh, it's not any other game in Missouri, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and um, I'm in cowboy country, I believe, in Missouri. But uh, uh, everybody's so excited over this matchup, and I am too. Uh, I have such respect for the, their coach. I have such respect for their organization. And they've certainly had a lot of success these past several years. And uh, uh, it's got... Uh, it's got all of the matchups of going in the lines, den. They have great atmosphere. Uh, all of that is there, and they've got a f- outstanding team. Uh, we go up there and could come out of there with a win. It would be a hallmark win for us this year. Absolutely. Do you remember what your all scouting report was? And we know you love football on all levels. What did you think of Mahomes in college and – I mean, how crazy is it with what he's turned into? Well, I think that you uh, – uh, I, uh, I think he was uh, has been true to form. I do. Uh, you say, well, if that's a fact, why wouldn't 20 teams up there empty in the house to try to get him? Yeah. Uh, but but he's, his style, his athletic ability, his speed, uh, all of the things that uh, serve him well – and make no mistake about it, uh, as you know, he uh, he stayed at Texas Tech when some pretty good quarterbacks moved on that were behind him out there that ended up being starters in the NFL. So he's no surprise. Uh, I think it was uh, it's interesting how his particular style has compromised defenses. Uh, certainly, his first few years, um, I think is. Time moves along, he will adjust, but defenses will adjust too. And uh, but uh, you're not going to take away his gift, and uh, that is to uh, just make plays. And he's out there to make plays, and uh, so all of that is. If I've seen a quarterback uh, in in the last years and years that literally carry a team, then. Uh, I would uh, put him on that top of that list uh, or right there at the top. What they've done a great job, though, is they put some talent around him that matches skills. Jerry, last question. Uh, is, is this game a little bit more special uh, considering the relationship that DFW has with the Hunt family and football here in, in North Texas? There's no doubt about it. We have uh, no doubt about it. Lamar Hunt is one of the founders of football. And uh, I admire him so much, and his uh, Clark and his family have just uh, incorporated that and uh, and advanced uh, what Lamar was about as far as sports is concerned, and uh, very much to the extent that uh, Lamar made the Preston Road Trophy. And uh, I live on Preston Road, and Lamar lives about... uh, uh, as a, as a, a cat or dog would walk probably 200 yards <laughs> from me. And uh, he built this, it looks like a birdhouse. And he had it all fixed up real nice. And uh, maybe 25, 26 years ago, he presented me with that Preston Road trophy. He said, whether it's preseason or whether it's regular season, the winner will get the Preston Road trophy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was really something. And he presented it to me at a meeting over at SMU that uh, uh, he was having, and it was so much fun. Well, uh, sure enough, they win the first uh, game that we did play. We haven't played that often. Yeah. And we won it. And um, I had some friends over, and we're telling them this story. And uh, they said, well, we sure would like to see it. So uh, I called him to come over and wanted to show them the Preston Road Trophy. And he said, well, Jerry, I'm not so sure about this. That, that really is not quite in the spirit of it. And said, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, I'll let you have it, but you've got to have it back by midnight. <laughs> uh, and the first time that I asked him, he said, no, I don't believe I'll let you have possession because we've earned the possession. We'll let you drive by with your friends, and I'll put it in the window. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it. So uh, later on, I had it. And he, same thing, he wanted to show some people the Preston Road Trophy. 
I wouldn't let him have it. I made his <laughs> wife come uh, get it and sign a receipt for it to be sure and bring it back in a day. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Jerry Jones, every Tuesday, brought to you by Ford, built for Texas, built for you. Congratulations on the victory. Have fun out there and bring one back. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, guys. All right. Hello, I'm Jason Concepcion, former co-host of Binge Mode, Ravenclaw with Gryffindor Rising, still repping the Night's Watch despite Season 8, and the host of Crooked Media's new podcast, Extra Vision. Every week, my guests and I will take you through the world of comic book movies, fantasy shows, and more. Join us as we deep dive into your favorite franchises, discuss fan theories, and the latest news. Listen now for free on Odyssey, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. There's never been a better time to work at Amazon. They are offering sign-on bonuses up to $3,000 and pay up to $24.50 per hour. Many jobs come with great benefits that start on your first day, and Amazon offers a variety of paths for career growth. They have flexible shifts and schedules, and you can start in as little as seven days. So you'll be earning extra income just in time for the holidays. Go to Amazon.com slash apply to get started today. Amazon is proud to be an equal opportunity employer. Bundle your home and auto with Farmers and you could save up to 20%. 1 plus 1 equals 20. It's bundle math. Get a quote at Farmers.com. We are Farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Not available in every state. Only available select Farmers branded policies. Subject to terms and conditions underwritten by Farmers Trucker Fire Insurance. Exchanges or affiliate.